Well, good morning, everybody. Now, with all the new technology that has come into our lives, it has made our life, you know, easier, maybe work even faster, but it also means our life is now flooded with cords attached to, well, pretty much everything. Everything. So to tidy things up, our organizing go-to, Jennifer Phelps, Miss Fix It, is here to help. And you have so many different ideas, things that are going to make just yeah. life easier. Yeah, so this spans from DIY to funky, cool container store stuff to, like, stuff you can get at a computer store. But this is how we live with the stuff we hate about the stuff we can't live without. <laughs> That's a I very followed. good way to put that. <laughs> I followed. Yeah. yeah. So first of all, unfortunately, most of the time, you know, it gets all dusty and all gross down there. And if you try to change anything out, you can't figure out what goes to what. So we want to start by, hate to say it, folks, you got to take stuff apart. But take it apart one thing at a time. Uh -huh. And then what happens is you detangle everything and then just plug it back into the component and let the rest hang so you can bundle and plan for the next step, okay? okay. If all you're doing is detangling and consolidating, some cool things are this little box, for example, you can put a power strip in and hide it away. You can also, I don't know if you can see back here, but what I have done on the bottom of the desk, the higher up you bundle, the less you're going to see. So on the wall or under the desktop, this is a power strip Velcroed to the bottom of a desk. Here's Velcro for other power cords, so when you turn it over, you don't you see don't it. See but everything is handy for you to grab. So again, it's just Velcro. There are nifty, so all those twist ties in your drawer, now you pull them out. This is where you use them to bundle up, okay? You can use these cool twist ties or here. Now, Michael Deschal, it has nothing on me today. <laughs> nice. So here, now watch the one thing I screw up on after being doing this for three years. Look at this. <gasps> oh, it does it what? for you. Yeah. And it's pretty. Yeah. I know. I'm so all about know. that right now. I know. So there's a cord zipper. And okay. so that, it, there are ways to kind of hide things away and bundle at the same time, which I love. Now you have it apart. What the heck are they? And how are you going to remember it for yes. next time? Mm. Easy do-it-yourself stuff. Those bread ties that you've been sitting in your drawer for those little bread tabs, color code them or put the name of the item on there. Put it on both ends and you'll know what it is, okay? Oh. Also, there's some really cool ones, of course, that are also color code as well as bind. So you have these nifty kind of twist ties and things and um, another little tab kind of thing. So you can do, there's all kinds of cool things for that. My OCD is so happy right now. <laughs> I have to tell you, this is like my dream come true. I know. And so what's fun is you can use color for fun, or you can do it really simple so it looks real sleek. And again, if you're doing some hiding techniques, which I've got some more, it keeps the cords up and off the floor, which makes all the difference visually for you. Awesome. Now, I see something here that I think I'm really interested in, because we mm -hmm. have that problem with the power cords, where they're yep. just like the big things, and they're just Ex in the way, and they're ugly. Well, uh, one, hiding them, whatever you get. But this I like, because sometimes you have the really large um, plugs and it blocks yes. multiples. This solves that as well as being able to kind of go around desk legs and stuff if you have an awkward space because sometimes you're trying to jam that thing in there and you can't. Anyway, this is a charging dock. So you can put several things on here and the cord comes up the back so there's a power cord to it. But So, so you have all of your little things bound up behind there and you can put this on your countertop because what are the places that are messy? Your media station, your office, your kitchen counters. Yeah. This helps solve a lot of those problems. This also has a tiny um, power strip inside, like this, but this is a do-it-yourself version. This has a power strip in, hide that under your desk, looks great, comes in a few colors. Then, how the heck do I attach all those cords under the desk, say I want to be that motivated? There's some really cool things. You can just use simple adhesive um, uh, hooks. You can use these things that are actually made to go along the wall or behind your t chair leg or your desk leg and all of these things do those same same purposes. Now routers and stuff, look at this cool stacking thing. If you shove that router down inside there and put that little stacking on top of there, obviously you'd need an outlet for the cord because I have to, I didn't pop a hole in it. Right. But look, so look now your, your routers, your modems can go in there and still and be working. Mm -hmm. And it gives you another shelf space. That's right. And also things like that can also actually go in magazine um, bins I would and never you can have hide them. They look like other things on your desk and you can hide those things away as well. So, and now over here, look, your nightstand. 
um, I didn't actually, you can drill the hole, for example, for your power cord, but you can turn your nightstand into a charging station and nobody has to see anything but your little cords coming oh, out. Oh, that, that is, is amazing. amazing. Yeah, Pinterest, Pinterest, Pinterest. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what did we do before Pinterest? I know. Well, now what we do with Pinterest, we just look at Pinterest and don't do anything. But, <laughs> but in, yeah, right. okay, so then what happens? You get all of this done, your cords are all hidden, and then you plug in your phone and the cord falls on the and floor, this falls to me behind stuff. Every day. Exactly. All of those little gadgets over there help either um, hold it on your desk or on your countertop. That little orange thing actually plugs in and is a phone or iPod holder so you can plug it in the outlet. And it's a little stand so wherever you go, if you don't have a counter, you can just plug it right in. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then that little um, turtle looking thing is like for earbuds. It snaps open. You put your earbuds in, for example, and, and wind it up. And then on the end, when that uh, vertical thing there, so you have your laptop container, and you have your glasses, and you have your cords, and you have all of that. That contains and manages all of those little things, and it just slides right in your laptop container or in a suitcase if you're traveling. So not only do you have opportunities to hide things, detangle, bind, bundle, um, hide, identify, and travel all of your cords in your whole house. Look, and these things right here, I know we're talking about DIY. And I forgot the butterfly clips. I use these for everything. If you look in our yeah. little mini fridge right now, I'm closing all of my salad bags. Yeah, let me, just, <laughs> let me show you what, that, what those do. So say, so you see how that little thing holds yeah. the, you put this on the edge of your desk, and you put your little yep. thing through there, and it'll hold. And then it won't ever drop off yes. of my desk. That's what those. All, that's what Practical. all of these do. So this is the DIY version. You have to get the big ones. Don't and steal mine off, uh, the, off the lettuce bags. <laughs> I won't. So, steal so there yours. you go. The coolest things do it yourself, and coolest gadgets to go with your coolest gadgets. Amazing, Jennifer. I think this is my favorite segment yet. This is, <laughs> I needed this more than you have any idea. So that's thank okay. you so much. And happy wedding. Those oh, are yours. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Well, listen, you can learn more. Just go to log, you can log on to miss-fix-it.com and hire a professional organizer yourself. Visit TucsonProfessionalOrganizers.org as well.